hey guys welcome back to my channel hope you all are doing well and here i am with another great video for you guys so this is one of the requested video on my blogs and uh, recently i've got multiple requests so i filtered and chose uh, to make a video a dedicated video on this topic and as you have already seen in the uh, video art that this will be regarding that how we can get the path of any file by uh, from our external storage directory now there could be multiple use cases of this and that if you are making some video in which uh, you want to give the provide the path of a file and then you want to use that file for the pre-processing then in that case uh, it's very important for all the uh, intent action get services uh, if you want to store a path if you want to store a file in a certain uh, folder you need to get a path of that uh, the desired path of the folder so there could be multiple use cases of it but if you do this in a conventional way so uh, that might use a lot of code and that also uh, is a bit tricky method to do because for that you have to pass various intents then you have to use a file in file uh, in um, I use stream I would stream to get the path and then uh, um, uh, be a reader there are several things related to that but today what I'm going to cover is a short method in which you can get a file in just a very short snippet of the code so without wasting much of a time let's get started one more thing to record that before starting this uh, project you also need to import certain dependency and the plugins which you need to get imported in your project uh, build.gradle and the app build.gradle so i'll mention all the files uh, all the uh, dependencies that you might need for this and we will also use some uh, good uh, dependencies related to the toast messages in this and these are uh, obviously third party libraries but this is very handy when you work in big projects and you want some interactive uh, uh, interface which i already all always prefer so uh, I'll just uh, paste the links and the uh, the list of all the dependency which are needed in this uh, uh, project. Uh, I'll also flash on the screen and also will be mentioned in the uh, description below. So uh, before this, let's just get into the uh, our layout file and start designing. So uh, as you know that we are we want to get the path of the file. So uh, there will be two things that we will be needing. One, a button to get the to start the file explorer uh, uh, action, and another a text view to display the uh, path. So we already have a text view. We'll just uh, modify uh, it a bit and we'll get it running. So I'll just make it tools text and then I will do the text size to MSP. Okay, cool. And we already had an ID ID not TV. Next we need a button, so we'll be using material button as we do. Black content, black content, that's it. Style, outline button, Move the text. So let's just, let's just, let's get that text size. okay so this will be a quick layout we won't waste much of our time in designing the layout file so this will be a button i'll assign an id to it <coughs> okay 
so we all are we are all set for this